What is going on everyone, welcome to a brand new PES 2015 video. Now if you haven't seen my last one, it was just kind of like some gameplay followed by my thoughts on the game. Uh, whether I liked it or whether I didn't. Um, so go ahead and check that out. But in this one we are in the My Team menu now. The past day or two I've actually had trouble connecting to this. But I found that if you just spam My Club... And it'll eventually let you in. Not my team, my club, sorry. Um, so, yeah, it'll eventually let you in. But I'm going to make the most of it, and we're going to talk about it today. So, anyway, Clubhouse. So, I'm just going to go through what you can do. Basically, what all of it means. There's still some things that I don't quite know what um, it means. But, obviously, as I play the game more, I will learn it. So, um, regular, that is just versus the computer. Uh, so, it would just be games like 1v1. So, it would be you versus the computer uh, with your squad. Squad management, this is where you check your team, change your team, etc. So, you can change uh, defensive and offensive tactics. Uh, stamina. Um, just regular tactics, everything like that. You can change where they are um, in positions and stuff like that. So, that is how you do that. Also... When we load this, if we go over to game plan, this way you can also change your tactics, your lineup, um, your preset tactics. I can't actually change formation, otherwise I would do, but um, that is something. Set piece settings, you can change your uh, free kick takers, you can change your uh, your left corner, you, you can change your corner kick takers, your penalty kick takers, players to join attack, um, things like that. And I've also got your also trigger settings, your offside trap substitutions, change preset tactics, stuff like that. Um, which is obviously really good. So you've got My Club Store, which uh, doesn't quite allow you to buy My Club coins yet, um, but I'd imagine in the future it will do. Uh, you can also increase your player slots by uh, by paying for it for a thousand GP, um, which isn't too bad. I'll go ahead and do that now. It, it allows you to have more players basically. So that is something. There you go. I've actually just got uh, fifty uh, My Team points. Uh, well, My Club points for that as well. So as you can see now, I've got two hundred and five rather than one hundred and fifty-five. So. That is something. Obviously, we've got our inbox, so if you come in here, then there may be some things that are in there that give you extra GP or something. This is where you sign players and hire managers. So if we have a look at this, after every game, where um, the grayed out bit up the top left, where it says you have no agents at your disposal, after every game, there will be a manager there. They could suck. Um, they could be like one one to three star managers, but that you could get like a, like a high, maybe... A high 60s player or something, I don't know. Uh, so, this way, sign top players. Um, obviously, you can choose which position. You can either have a forward, midfielder, defender, or goalkeeper. Then you have got higher manager. Now, there is one thing that I don't get with this. I have 200, for example. So, if I went down and see, like, saw someone that I really wanted, I could pick him up. But there's only certain ones that are locked. Well, unlocked. So, management skills, guys. I don't understand how management skills work. I don't know. I, th I believe that allows you to get better players right so I believe that's what it does um, I could be wrong but if you hover over and press Y you can check the formations based on your players obviously I want to find someone um, set to Ronaldo so I um, obviously need to find someone with a left mid forward or left wing forward um, formation but they change every day so at the minute I haven't found one um, so yeah management skills I think that just allows you to get better players in your team um, I could be wrong though if you do know that let me know in the comments um, because that will help me out now obviously this is you can sign players on loan kind of similar to FIFA um, but it has an end date so for example it is the 18th that I'm recording this at uh, just gone 10 past 6 so the end date will be the 19th at 3 o'clock and then after that the contracts will run out and you will not be able to use them again now obviously the players that you see are like right backs goalkeepers left backs they vary in different positions Ryan Bertrand there um, from Aston Villa so uh, they do vary from different positions, and obviously this time, well, at three o'clock the next day, the the players will change. So there'll be different players there. So that's something. Um, it is quite useful, but I haven't quite done it yet. So anyway, my club members. I guess this just shows you your squad list and your manager list. Obviously, I've Ronaldo up the top. I managed to get him out the uh, starter pack that we get. Um, obviously, Lazovic as well. Sommer. Um, all of these different things. Anyway. Let's move on to the match. Now, you can see divisions, online divisions. Um, basically, like FIFA, you just play against people online. And obviously, if you, like, I don't know, if you get points enough to to promote like yourself to Division 11, to Division 10, things like that, exactly the same as FIFA. Uh, regular, which is just versus the computer, like I said. Um, I believe if you get a certain amount of wins during the certain amount of games, 
it actually increases the difficulty every time, so that is something. The Vision Sim. Now, I believe this is the same as the Visions, but you sim games. You don't actually play them, so you have to go, like, tactical on it, if that makes any sense. I believe so. I could be wrong on that one as well. Um, anyway, my club competitions. I don't think there's actually any of these at all yet. No, see, no competitions found. Basically, just, like, my team competitions on... Uh, NBA, I think they're like I don't know. You start off with eleven, you'll play the best eleven or something. I don't know. We actually don't have any info on that. Uh, just got enough an educated guess. So obviously statistics. You have divisions. Uh, your ranking. Um, if you head over to here, obviously shows the usernames, like things in real life and and whatever. So obviously Leo Messi. Um, he's got the highest rating. He's he's not actually played the the most matches, but that is his record, for example. So you can just see like online ratings. Um, last twenty results. These are the last twenty results you actually see. Um, of course, it's not too bad. Let's um, move on to this. My club completion rate one star. Um, now division sim. This is your rankings on division sim as well. So if you see on here like ratings of people on here that have actually played the amount of matches, etc. So pretty straightforward records. I'd imagine this is your record your regular record and division so there you go uh, we've also got versus com records as well so nine matches played one six so isn't terrible um but then again i suck at this game so obviously as i hopefully get better um anyway edit team uh, it's just where you edit your team etc change team name cha uh, copy team design save team data and user agreement just where you uh, agree to the the things obviously so let's go into the contract i'm going to actually hire a player uh well sign a player let's go in i've just increased the start so i don't actually need to get any rid of anyone let's sign a midfielder i'm going to play with uh, gp of course let's sign a midfielder let's see who we can get now this is obviously the pack um pack animation so as you can see they're just balls the Gold ones, I believe, are anywhere from 75 to 79, and the black ones are 80 plus, so that is something. Let's go ahead and confirm. Hopefully, we can get a black ball. That would be amazing. You know, that would be absolutely freaking fantastic. But we're not going to. It will be a gold ball. Let's see who we get. Hopefully, it's someone good. Um, who is this? Who is this? Someone who I can add, possibly. Um, a central midfielder, Lassen. Lassen, 75 overall. Um, seems quite good. He'll go straight into the team because my central midfield isn't actually that good anyway. So um, let's go ahead and put him into the team quickly. Just showing you how to do this. So let's go ahead. Obviously, our central midfield isn't actually that good. So let's go ahead and uh, play a menu. We'll do changes to the squad. And we will change them. What was he? 70? No, 70. 75, I believe, aren't he? 75? Where are you? There you go. 75. We've also got a centre-back there as well, 78 overall, which I haven't actually put into the team. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Um, so we put him in the team centre-back. Let's go. Nice. So our team's increasing a little bit. We've got better team spirit, better team strength, um, which is good. So we obviously have a decent goalkeeper, decent centre-back, decent left-back, decent central midfielder now, um, and also decent left midfielder, decent centre-forward. Obviously, Ronaldo as our second striker, but he has a left-wing mid, uh, left wing fielder. So he's not in his... A usual position, but eventually we will. But anyway, that's uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys. If you do want to see any more Pez content, including games themselves, please do go ahead. And let me know. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all the good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.